I am gonna demo lid number three. Lid number three is thrown right side up on the wheel head and it has a, it'll have a flat bottom when it's turned over on top of the pot and it requires a gallery. So you can see that here and it also has two measurements that need to be taken. One measurement is the inside of the flange. The second measurement is the inside um, edge of the gallery. So it's kind of like the gallery where there's the seat and then this other edge. So two dimensions need to be taken. So have my um, pot here. I'm going to be measuring this inside edge. That is where the flange will sit down. And then this corner, that is where the rest of the lid will sit in there and it'll have the seat. So I've already taken those measurements and put them on my paper and I'm going to start with the smaller of the two measurements that inside part where the flange will need to sit in. Okay, so start by centering your clay. Once it's centered, you can drop it down. And again, we want to get this in the ballpark range. Remember, that's the smaller of the two dimensions. So I'm going to lower this down a little bit more. Check again. Okay, and I'm going to drop a hole and I want to be about three eighths of an inch from the bottom just like what I'm normally throwing. You can stop and check that if you need to. As I'm pulling this, um, this wall open, I'm pressing down with my thumb because there's a natural tendency when you do things that are really flat for the clay to scoop up and roll out. You want to push that back down. So I'm using my um, thumb to push down as I'm pulling out. And I can feel there that my whole piece of clay just got bigger, got wider. I'm going to check, make sure I don't exceed where I need to be. Oop, I've gone a little far. What I'm checking is just where those calipers sit. I want that to have about a quarter of an inch edge. I'm just going to push that back in slightly. Check again. Okay, there. If I should put those down and have about a quarter of an inch. And so all I'm going to do is take my, um, my second finger on my left hand and I'm just supporting this inside wall. I'm taking my thumb on my right hand and I'm just pushing down. And you can see what that does is that creates this flange. Compress that. Take my calipers, turn them off, and check this measurement. Wow, is that close? And I did it. Um, and the calipers need to sit all the way down flat. So that's amazingly exactly where it needs to be. I'm going to compress this inside part that doesn't happen it's usually if I'm doing this by myself it'll take me two three tries to get in the right place but only because I'm doing a demo for you you can take your um, wood tool and press down you want to get a nice clean corner okay now check this measurement one last time because the second measurement now comes into play okay that's great. Second measurement, again, I'm gonna go back to my piece of paper and I'm opening my calipers. I'm gonna do that to the side here so I can get it just right. Opening my calipers to get that measurement. And all I'm gonna do is center that and just make a slight indentation with the calipers. And I'm just going to take my needle tool, cut straight down to the wheel head. Throw my needle tool underneath. Okay. This needs to be able to slide over and sit all the way down. 
you have any little cleanup to do, you can do that. Other than that, uh, we'll clean up when we trim. So stop it, cut it off the wheel. That's it.